Hi guys, a few Brexiteers appeared on Talk TV contradicting themselves over Brexit. One of the guests, Lizzie Condy, claimed that Brexit was done, but then in the next breath suggested that it was botched because the Tories never really wanted Brexit. Another supporter, Andre Walker, attacked the idea of another referendum following a discussion he had with young people in Northern Ireland. How can you be happy that something has been done if you're going to complain that it wasn't done right? Unhinged tripe. Have a listen to this. The majority voted the people's vote for Brexit, whether yeah. you like yes. it or not. And I'm sick of these people going on and on that we've got to return yeah. to the EU. We now have got Brexit done, finally. Yeah. It's taken too I, long. I went, I went to a debate in Northern Ireland with a load of young people. I mean, I virtually didn't make it out alive. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and they were saying, they were saying, it's a disgrace. We weren't 18 when the referendum happened. We should <laughs> rerun it now. Now we're 18. And I said, but if you did that, if you had that rule, you'd rerun it every single day. No, no, no. You wouldn't rerun it every day. You rerun, well, you don't rerun the referendum. You have another referendum. And if you're having another referendum, it's because something has changed. Because the public, their, their opinion of, on something has changed. And that's clearly the case when it comes to Brexit. A majority are against Brexit now. And a majority, a smaller majority, are in support of rejoining the EU. So if the situation has changed, then of course you're going to have another referendum. And this really is interesting because these are the same people who have said that Brexit was the greatest demonstration of democracy in British history or something like that. Well, if you want more, wouldn't it be another demonstration of democracy to have another referendum if there is a majority, according to polling, to support that? And at the moment, there is. But this idea you're going to have a referendum every day. No, because if the situation doesn't change, then you don't have a referendum. If there isn't support for rejoining the EU or undoing Brexit, then there's no point in having a referendum. Very strange position this guy has. Uh, oh, to be yeah. fair, that's what Keir Starmer yeah. wants anyway. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But the Tories didn't really want Brexit to happen. No. That's the trouble. Think... And it, it got botched. Brexit mm. got botched. See, that's I, I, the I, the one that... Wait a minute. <laughs> so she started off by saying that Brexit got done and anyone who's complaining about Brexit getting done should just go away and stop complaining. These rum owners, you know, who want a second referendum. And now she's saying, well, Brexit was botched. Didn't get the right Brexit. She's actually making an argument for another referendum. Does she actually realise that? You know, or has the Botox, you know, seeped into her brain or something? Like, <laughs> really? You know, you're saying at the beginning, well, you know, we don't need to have another referendum because Brexit has been done. It's wonderful. And now she's saying, well, it's, it's not the right type of Brexit. You know, it's, it's been botched. I don't know what sort of Brexit she voted for, but isn't that an argument to have another referendum? Because you didn't get the right Brexit. Yeah, I would Problem. pick up on what you just said there, Lizzie, is that we've got Brexit done. I don't think we have. No, I, I no, think, I think... <laughs> no, you have another position. Brexit hasn't been done. So, f so first we had Brexit is done, then we have Brexit is botched, and now we have Brexit isn't done. And these people claim that they know what they voted for. This is one of the biggest problems is... When the referendum result came in, Remain didn't stop campaigning, but Brexit did. Yes. yes. And I think yes. that... Why would you campaign to leave the EU if you're leaving the EU? Just let that marinade in your mind for a moment. If, you, if the vote came in and said, we're leaving the EU, then why would you continue to campaign to leave the EU? That makes no sense whatsoever. That is where a lot of this problem stems from. Mm. And a lot of the issues that we're facing with the European Union over things like the border, um, like mm. border checks and yep. all the rest of it, is actually an administrative problem, not an ideological one. Brexit was... <laughs> what does he mean? Uh, yes, of course it's a, it's a problem about administration. Because that's what border checks are. That's like saying water is wet. Of course water is wet. Because, of course... The issue of border checks it comes down to administration. There aren't people in carrying out the checks for some ideological reason. What a weird position to have. It was my first legal vote when I was 18, just to show my wow. age there. I um, and I was very, very proud. On this I, was side very of the room. <laughs> I was very proud to vote for Leave. It was a vote for the prosperity of, of the United Kingdom. So how did, how's that working out? So she's proud of her vote 
to leave the EU because it was about prosperity. And how's that working out now? 4% drop in GDP. The latest tra trade deals will add something like 0.8% to GDP. Okay. In whichever way it went forward, but I didn't see that future within the EU. I voted for John Major. <laughs> Okay, whatever the hell that was about. Um, you don't vote... Like, okay, vote for John Major, but what's that got to do with Brexit? Anyway, so these, so now you have the position of Brexit was done, Brexit was botched, and Brexit was never actually done. <laughs> and these people don't want a second referendum. Why? Well, because then you'd have to have one every day. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.